Okay, just wanted to go over the simplest of all possible borders. It's called the track border. And every single rod is going to do one movement and the same movement relative to the other uprights. Each one of these will get bent down. In this case, I'm going to go behind one and out. And when I first turn down my very first one, you'll see where my thumbnail is as I bend this. You could probably see that I would be able to fit one rod under there, which in fact I will be doing with this one at the very end. But for now, I'm going to bend this one and move in that direction. Left to right, behind one, and let it sit there. Bend this towards me to get a nice kink. Bend that behind one, and it sits there bends towards me over top of this rod. That sproinged on me a bit. Bends it towards you first to get a nice kink and then keep moving. I'm guiding this a little bit back with my thumb just so that it doesn't break. I'm going to do the same thing with every single one of these rods. Oh, that one had a previous break, so I have to guide it there. I like to bend it against another rod rather than my thumb, if all possible. So if that means moving the rod a little bit, then I do that. It saves my thumb. So I will continue with this all the way around. Pretend I'm doing that, just going fast. Do 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 do. All the way. Keep going, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, and your last one to bend down is this one. And you'll see that this one's already bent, but it's still there, so you still need to go just as this one was. You still need to go behind it. It will be holding this one down at that point, but I'm going to bring this around in a big circle and find that hole. Sometimes you can use a screwdriver or something to help you get that space. You don't have an awl with you. And you've got to ease this in really gently so you're not going to break anything and make any of the bark look wonky because this is your border. And then I will trim each one of these just on the outside. You could do the whole thing in reverse and have them trimmed on the inside. You could go outside of two and leave it on the inside and that might give you just a bit more of a, an edge here. But that's your basics of a track border.